Uh, good morning students today let me start with uh, a new chapter that is class reptilia general characters and classification so in this slide you will be observing varieties of these uh, reptiles say for example you will be able to see turtles tortoises some lizard types and some snake examples and a very unique uh, example what is known as sphenodon which is commonly called as living fossil coming to the details of this class reptilia the class reptilia the term it is a derivative of a latin terminology wherein repper or reptum it refers to creep or crawl that means these are the animals which can uh, have the ability to creep or crawl on the terrestrial medium or on the land introduction these reptiles are the first vertebrates to exhibit total adaptations to terrestrial life and they are the first successful terrestrial vertebrates and there are about 7000 species of living reptiles like some lizards varieties of snakes and all turtles and tortoises crocodiles and alligators uh, the spinodon which is known as the living fossil which have seen already in the previous slide it is the oldest reptile or the ancient reptile and the reptiles are more advanced than the amphibians as they have been able to completely get adapted to terrestrial life so every character that we observe in case of the body of these reptiles it is well adapted for terrestrial mode of life coming to general characters habitat and habit mostly these are terrestrial and a few such as tortoises crocodiles etc though they are primarily terrestrial animals but are secondarily adapted to aquatic life however they are not found in the colder regions of the temperate zones mostly these reptiles are carnivorous and predatory type and few are herbivorous body form the body may be long cylindrical or short and broad it is differentiated into head neck trunk and tail coming to appendages there are two pairs of pentadactyl limbs with clawed digits are present and in snakes limbs are absent and it is generally said that the ancestral form of these present day snakes they had limbs but during the course of evolution because of the continuous creeping mode of locomotion the limbs have lost coming to skin and exoskeleton the skin is totally dry and non glandular which prevents the surface evaporation of the body water and it is externally covered over by horny epidermal scales or scutes or shields to check the loss of water so this is what one of the major adaptation present in reptiles snakes and lizards shed their skin periodically by the process called molting or egg diesis and in turtles dermal plates are found below the epidermal scutes and the scales are formed of heavy keratinization of the epidermis that means more amount of keratin is there in their skin coming to endoskeleton the endoskeleton is bony and the skull has a single occipital condyle so the skull is said to be monocondylar type coming to digestive system alimentary canal is complete with openings like mouth and cloaca at extreme ends and mouth is large with acrodont type of dentition that is in case of lizards pleurodont in case of chameleon and dragons and thecodont type of dentition in crocodiles and movable jaws to swallow large prey so many a times it is observed that the snakes and lizards they consume their their prey which is larger than their own body size so because of which they have a very large and wide mouth 
where because the jaws are movable type to swallow the large prey the tongue may be intact or bifid and can be either protrusible type or non protrusible coming to respiratory system lungs are the respiratory organs ribs help to expand and contract the body cavity for breathing turtles show cloacal respiration which is a very unique type of respiration circulatory system the heart is three chambered which is incompletely four chambered with two auricles and partially divided ventricle and in crocodiles the heart is four chambered but it is not completely separated and three aortic arches arise directly from the ventricle trunchus arteriosus is absent but sinus venosus is present rbcs are nucleated oval and biconvex type coming to nervous system there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves the atlas and axis vertebrae help the head to turn independent of the body sense organs senses of vision and smell are well developed mostly distinguish well only moving objects snakes have the organs for smelling called jacobson's organ and several reptiles use tongue as tactile organ as well the majority of reptiles have poorly developed sense of hearing they can only sense the vibrations of the earth in most cases so which is very evident in case of these snakes uh, it is generally said that snakes can listen to airborne sounds but that is a misconception they can hear only the earthborne sounds not only snakes even other reptiles too coming to excretory system kidneys are the excretory organs terrestrial forms are uricotelic that is they excrete uric acid while the aquatic forms are ureotelic that is they excrete urea body temperature reptiles are cold blooded animals or poikilotherms like amphibians and they rely on gathering and losing heat from the environment to regulate their internal temperature or by preferential circulation the move warmed blood into the body core while pushing cool blood to the periphery that means they take in the warm blood into the core part of their body and pushing the cool uh, sorry cool blood to the periphery and many of them they hibernate during winter and probably have seen the crocodiles which come out of the water and uh, expose their huge body surface to the direct sunlight in summer season or in all, all the seasons of the year that is to uh, gain some amount of heat from the external medium the process is called sun basking coming to reproductive system sexes are separate and exhibit sexual dimorphism males generally have copulatory structures fertilization is internal and mostly they are oviparous and some are ovo viviparous or viviparous types eggs are large megalocytal type that is more amount of yolk is present and the eggs are cladoic that is the eggs are covered by hard or leathery shell the calcareous shells prevent the desiccation of the eggs coming to extra embryonic membranes they are the amniotes as extra embryonic membranes like amnion allantois yolk sac and chorion are formed during early embryonic development so these reptiles are amniotic animals coming to classification this class reptilia has four subclasses they are anapsida parapsida diapsida and synapsida uh this classification is mainly based on uh, the type of uh, skull that they have and out of these four subclasses 
this subclass parapsida and subclass diapsida sorry synapsida they are all extinct forms that means they are no more and the only two living subclasses are anapsida and diapsida during the course of evolution of reptiles from amphibians some important changes had taken place and one of such change is that occurred in the temporal region of the skull to crush the to crush and masticate the chitinous insects require active movement of the jaws and this can be aided by the development of jaw muscles and to accommodate jaw muscles skull developed vacuities or fossae in temporal region a region behind the orbit of the skull so this forms the uh, basis for the classification of the reptiles and <coughs> <coughs> sorry based on the nature and the number of temporal fossae reptiles are classified into four subclasses they are anapsida synapsida parapsida and diapsida which you have already seen in the previous slide coming to subclass anapsida it includes forms that have no temporal fossae in the skull and this is a primitive condition so that is uh, no temporal fossae or no cavities in the skull region and this subclass has two orders they are cartilozoria that is extinct forms and kilonia the living forms coming to order kilonia habitat terrestrial semi aquatic fresh water or marine so these are the different places where they are dwelling coming to habit herbivorous or carnivorous body form the body is short and wide exoskeleton trunk is covered over by bony shell composed of dorsal carapace and ventral plastron so the dorsal coverings are called carapace and the ventral one are called plastron the head pentadactyl limbs and tail can be retracted inside the shell at times of danger temporal fossae is absent totally so it is primitive skull they have endoskeleton vertebrae and ribs of thoracic region are fused with carapace jaws are without teeth and tongue is not protrusible type quadrate a bone in the skull region it is connected to the aortic lobe aortic bones nasal opening is a single median aperture aquatic forms have valvular nostrils to prevent the entry of water urinary bladder is present cloacal respiration is seen in aquatic forms so it is very unique type of respiration which i already told you in the general characters the unpaired copulatory organs are present in males of this order kilonia and these are oviparous that means they lay eggs only some familiar examples are kilon mydas commonly known as turtle green edible turtle which feed on sea grasses and testudo elegans which is also called tortoise and they are terrestrial herbivores found in south india then trionics also known as terrapins commonly and they are found in the north india with cylindrical limbs digits without web but ending with claws trionics gangeticus as the name itself suggests it is found in the river beds of ganga river only so these are the details of order kilonia of subclass anapsida so here is the picture or the slide which shows you uh, the different varieties of tortoises terrapins and turtles and this is for your reference coming to subclass diapsida it includes the reptiles which have two temporal fossae it is divided into two super orders lepidosauria and archosauria lepidosauria is divided into two orders that is rhynchocephalia and squamata coming to the first order 
rhynchocephalia of lepidosauria uh, it is represented by only one living form which is called spinodon which you have seen the photograph already in the first slide it is also known as tuatura found in the islands of new zealand only and it was originated in mesozoic era about 220 million years ago before the appearance of dinosaurs but still it is present in a living condition and hence it is commonly known as a living fossil and it has retained many primitive characters even today they are these spinodons are terrestrial lizard like animals they have elongated depressed body with laterally compressed tail and the body is covered with epidermal scales teeth are acrodont type fused to the edges of the jaws and there is a median third eye or the parietal eye with lens retina and an optic nerve they have weak limbs with clawed digits modified for burrowing vertebrae are amphicelous type or biconcave ribs have uncinate processes on the back that is some pointed hook like projections are there on the ribs urinary bladder is present and external copulatory structures are absent uh, the best example as i said earlier it is spinodon or tuatura so here is the slide which uh, you can see uh, the photograph of the spinodon wherein you see that uh, it is having a lizard like body with uh, so many reptilian characters and of course some primitive characters are also there so these are uh, ancient than or older than the dinosaurs which have already become extinct coming to second order that is squamata squama refers to scale and squamatus refers to scaly that means the body has many scales it includes the forms like lizards and snakes and it includes advanced reptiles which are either small or medium built and elongated forms and limbs are generally clawed but absent in snakes and a few lizards heart is incompletely four chambered body is externally covered by epidermal scales skull has only one pair or no temporal fossae teeth are acrodont or pleurodont type tongue is protrusible type vertebrae are procellular type and males have a pair of eversible hemipenis so these are some uh salient features of order squamata so this order squamata includes two suborders they are lacertilia and ophidia first one lacertilia it includes the lizards like chameleon draco varanus rhinosoma callots mobia euromastix and hemidactylus that is wall lizard that is common house lizard so lacertilia includes only lizards coming to the important characters they are terrestrial arboreal or burrowing forms the body is elongated and depressed it is divided into head neck trunk and tail and a pair of superior temporal fossae is present in the skull and the eyelids are movable type nictitating membrane is present in the eyes maxillae palatine and pterygoids are fused so these are some bones of the skull region and this checks the capacity of the mouth to open wide tympanum is present sternum episternum present so these are the bones which we come across in the pectoral girdle both the lungs are present and functional tongue rarely notched and extensile urinary bladder is absent sorry present caudal autotomy with regeneration is seen in some lizards so caudal refers to tail 
and autotomy means self generation so here you, uh, you have seen this kind of phenomenon in your houses uh, in case of this wall lizards that means many a times they lose their tail and the tail is going to be regenerated after some days and this phenomenon is called caudal autotomy that means they can shed their tail when there is an attack by an by an enemy and that can be regenerated again hence the process is called caudal autotomy and it includes about 3800 living species some of the familiar lizards are as follows hemidactylus commonly known as wall lizard callots garden lizard draco flying lizard varanus monitor lizard rhinozoma desert lizard chameleon arboreal lizard heloderma iguana mobe carinata etc so these are some familiar examples of lacertilia so here is the slide you wherein you can see the varieties of lizards here coming to suborder ophidia it includes snakes like cobra king cobra viper crate hydrophis rat snake green snake etc that means all snakes are grouped under this or suborder ophidia uh, the characters are as follows terrestrial aquatic arboreal or burrowing type snakes have invaded almost all habitats of the world except arctic regions that means in arctic regions these are absent temporal fossae are absent snakes have a long cylindrical slender body head bears a mouth terminally a pair of eyes dorsally and a pair of nostrils tympanum is absent maxilla palatine and pterygoids are absent that is in the skull region hence can open the mouth very wide in poisonous snakes there are fangs to inject poison and the fangs are a pair of large teeth bone on the maxillae which have a groove inside continuous with a poison gland situated near upper jaw and caudal autotomy is absent here in ophidia but it was present in lacertilia and the tongue is long slender forked type and protrusible type and it functions as an olfactory organ the eyes are without eyelids a transparent scale covers the eye for protection against the dust so here is the slide wherein you can see the varieties of snakes here so you know out of these all snakes there some snakes are said to be poisonous and some are non poisonous but there is a blind belief in the mind of people that uh, all snakes are poisonous but it is not true the lungs are unequal in size uh, the left lung is placed far anterior in the floor of the buccal cavity to allow breathing during feeding or swallowing because they is to consume the big sized prey girdles are absent that is pectoral and pelvic girdles are absent so limbs are absent urinary bladder is absent and they are mostly nocturnal and carnivorous sternum episternum are absent because uh, though uh, as they have no pectoral and pelvic girdles so the there is no question of these bones eyelids are immovable type tympanum is absent they are incapable of perceiving air borne sounds but can perceive earth borne sounds or the vibrations sexes are separate fertilization is internal and they lay cladoic eggs usually snakes are oviparous but some are ovo viviparous and some are viviparous too and it includes about 3000 living species example non poisonous snakes like python rat snake sand bow anaconda the largest snake of the south america and typhlos commonly called as blind snake eryx johnii commonly known as sand snake and there are some 
poisonous snakes too. Naja Naja, commonly known as King Cobra, Bangaris or Crate, Hydrophis or Sea Snake, and Vipera Rasilli, commonly known as Pit Viper. So these are some familiar examples of suborder Ophidia. Coming to superorder Archozoria, it includes mostly extinct forms, but just one living order, Crocodilia. And dinosaurs were included under this super order. And dinosaurs means terrible animals. And the largest reptiles that ruled this earth during Mesozoic era. Thus, Mesozoic era is referred to as Golden Age of Reptiles. Order 1 of this super order, Archosauria, that is Saurischia. Reptiles like quadrupedal dinosaurs were included under this order. Example, brontosaurs, the largest land animal lived on this earth. So, this was the biggest animal that lived on this earth. Then, tyrannosaurs, the giant carnivore lived on this earth. Order 2, Ornithischia, bird-like bipedal dinosaurs. Example, stegosaurs and triceratops, the largest herbivorous dinosaur that lived on this earth. So here is the slide where you can see uh, varieties of dinosaurs here and this is for your reference you can observe them later. Order 3 Crocodilia Largest living reptiles and habitat amphibious forms found on land and in fresh water or brackish water body. Habit carnivores or predator types and body is huge long depressed and heavy body is divisible into head neck trunk and tail and they have horny epidermal scales or scutes cover the body maxillae palatines and pterygoids are fused along the middle to form a secondary palate so these are the bones of the uh, skull region quadrate is immovable type teeth are thicodont and tongue is not protrusible and the internal nostrils open into the pharynx posteriorly. Fore limbs have five digits and hind limbs have four webbed toes. The digits end with strong claws. Heart is completely four chambered and incomplete diaphragm between the thoracic and abdominal region is present. So the appearance of diaphragm has started for the first time in crocodiles. Lungs are complex and spongy. Urinary bladder is absent. Males have a single copulatory organ. Sexes are separate and they are oviparous and they lay cladoic type of eggs. And they have long snout. Examples are crocodiles, alligators and gharials. So in this slide you will be observing varieties of crocodiles. Coming to subclass Synapsida, members had only one temporal fossae that is infratemporal fossae on each lateral side of the skull and they are all extinct forms and the members are called Therapsids from which mammals have evolved. So from the evolutionary point of view, uh, these Synapsids are very important because it is from these Therapsids mammals have evolved. The members are also commonly called mammal-like reptiles, example Dimetrodon, Cynognathus, Anomodontacea and class, subclass Parapsida. All the members are extinct forms again and they had only one temporal fossa that is supratemporal fossa and it had two orders that is Ichthyosauria and Plyzosauria wherein Ichthyosauria includes fish-like reptiles example ichthyosaurus and plesiosauria includes marine reptiles example plesiosaurus so this is all about the details of general characters of class reptilia and its classification and other details so with this let me stop at this level and continue the rest in next class